Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about uh, Kittle's latest feature they've released, the Kittle Flow. And right here, I'm on the Kittle homepage and they have a ton of templates that you can use with Kittle Flow. If you click on the left on templates and then along the top, select creative flows. And there's a bunch of different ones in here. Uh, pin maker, product ad generator, uh, 3D elements, um, stickers, all kinds of different templates that you can start with to create something different. But I want to show you how you can use Kittle Flow with your own designs that you've made in, let's say, your favorite image generator, whether that be Kittle or Midjourney or another image generator. I'm going to show you how you can use this Kittle Flow to completely change your designs or to create um, sets for clip art or for various designs you might want to do. So I'm just going to come over here and you see I have, let me move these over a little bit and zoom in so you can see these two images a little more clearly right now. Let's zoom it in. Okay, so I have these two and I'm doing um, ghosts because Halloween's coming up and you know that's what we're, a lot of us are designing for. So I have this cute cow print ghost with a pink bow, and then I have this kind of boho ghost here. And we're gonna take these, and we're gonna make some completely different designs, starting with these two artboards. All right, and I'm gonna move them over here to the side, and I'm gonna just move this one out of the way. So to use the Kittle Flow, all you would do is select the artboard you want to use. And there's a little arrow here that if you hover over it, you see it creates a smart board. And if I click that arrow, it will create that smart board. Or I can come over here on the right and just click on Add Smart Board. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to make, I think, three different smart boards. So we have one and let's make another. Okay, so we have three different smart boards here for this cow print design. And let's say I want to keep this style and these colors, but I wanna make a set that has different color bows. So all I do is click on this first smart board over here and I'm just gonna say same style and pattern make the bow blue and we'll enter that in and this one i'm going to do the same thing same style and pattern make the bow green and let's do one more do same style and pattern make the bow purple all right and we're going to give that a minute to generate those variations for us Alrighty, these have all generated and you can see that, oops, let's zoom that out a little more again. You can see that it did exactly what we wanted it to do. And we have the same ghost, just with different color bows. All right. Now there's so much more you can do than just changing colors like that. Let's move this one off to the side and let's grab this one again and I'm going to move these up here to the top okay and let's go and make a couple more 
let's move this over here and we'll make it just a couple more of these and we're going to do something a little different now instead of just changing the color on this ghost what i'm going to do is change this up for different characters but i want the same pattern and style and since we are doing halloween let's do same style and pattern make a mummy we'll generate and then this one same style and pattern make a witch and let's do a jack-o-lantern for the last one same style and pattern make a jack lantern and we'll generate those and we'll give it just a minute to generate Alrighty, now these have all generated and you see we have a cow print mummy and the cow print ghost witch and the cow print jack-o-lantern so you can make some really great um matching coordinating designs with this new flow and let's say we like this witch okay we like this witch here but we want to do something different with that let's say make this um in a plaid style okay we're gonna tell it to make it plaid now instead of cow print okay and now you see let's zoom in here a little so you can see this better now we have a plaid witch ghost okay so there's a lot of different things you can do with this kittle flow let me get rid of these now just gonna get rid of those and we are going to play with this little boho ghost okay and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some art boards or smart boards I'm sorry and let's zoom out a little so I can fit them all on the screen let's move that one up top all right and let's say we really like this ghost but let's say we want to do something completely different so same style and pattern uh, make a cute i don't know let's say um a cute highland cow all right and in this one we can completely change the feel of it this is more of a fall feel feel let's go with uh, make this more suitable for a spooky halloween style okay and i have no idea what we're going to get i'm just giving it some ideas and let's take this one and uh change the style to bold and bright colors okay and we will let that generate and we'll check it in just a second Alrighty, and here they are now we have the highland cow up here with the flowers and this one we said to make it dark and for a spooky halloween style and it went with the black i don't really like that black so let's say uh put this on a white background all right and we'll let that do its thing and while that's generating let's look at this one we told this one instead of the muted boho colors we wanted it to be bright and bold so that's what it did for us so we just changed the color palette and now when you have decided that your design is 
done and it looks the way you want it to. Let's say we really like this one. Now to use this as a design, all you have to do is select it, come over here on the right and click convert to image. So now it's an image and I can remove the background so we can put this on a t-shirt or whatever and you see what it looks like larger that looks great that would make a fantastic design for a shirt or a tumbler or anything else and now it took this one and put it on a lighter background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that one to an image and let's remove the background and let me make this bigger so you can see it and that looks really cool too it started out with the boho with the daisies and changed them out with some skulls and just made the colors a little darker and more Halloweenish. So that came out really cool. And that's all you do is, like I said, once you're ready to use it, just click convert to image. But now let's say I like the Highland cow, but I want to make that a little bit different. So let's say make this more of a winter holiday Christmas style and we will go from the boho ghost to the boho highland cow and now we want it to take this and make it a little more wintry and Christmassy all right and let's zoom in a little so we can see and it took this and put holly, berries, snowflakes, and things like that on the design instead of the boho flowers. So let me zoom out here a little. I wish Kittle would make it so I could just move my entire screen around, but it doesn't do that. So I have to spend a lot of time zooming in and zooming out so I can see what I want to see on the frame okay so this is where we came from and down here is what we started with we went from the ghost to the cow to christmas and I like that so I'm going to say convert to image and I'll remove the background and there's a pretty cool Christmas image that you could use now it didn't do a great job at the background removal but that's something you can do in another program if you want to or you can instead I'm going to tell this I don't like the red stripe remove the red stripe box and we'll get rid of that I think it would look better with just the snowflakes and the holly berry and stuff like that okay so here we have this one with the <clears throat> red block removed and on a white background so this I think is really cute we can add this we can turn this into an image now Let's convert to image remove the background and you have a fantastic finished design that came from the ghost the boho ghost that's where we started and this is where we ended up so the kittle flow is really nice um, where you can just change little things up and create some really different things from your original images so let's get rid of this and we have an artboard here let me drag that and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to grab this little guy this uh, fall highland cow i'm just going to copy that image and i'm going to paste it right in here 
So you see, I just grabbed that from another image generator. Just grab that from Recraft. So let's make this just a little bit bigger, move this over, and let's create some smart boards from this one. And we can take this fall design and let's make this into different holidays. So let's say same style, make it a Christmas theme. All right, this one, let's say same style, make this a fun Halloween design. And let's take the bottom one and say same style, make this a Valentine. Valentine's Day design. And we'll give it a second to let it do its thing. Alrighty, so these are done. Let's zoom in a little so we can take a look at them. And here we have our original. Let me move these over just a little. Oops. Grab it all. Move it over. Okay, so here we have the original here, the fall, and here it converted it to a Christmas theme, which is absolutely adorable. And then here we have it in a Halloween theme with the bats and the jack-o'-lantern and the witch's hat. So that is super cute. And finally, let's bring this up here. We have it in the Valentine's Day design. So this is really cool. You can take the same image and convert it for different seasons. You can then sell these in a bundle with uh, different holidays in it to you know increase sales because you have this cute little holiday bundle with you have fall you have halloween you have valentine's you have christmas you could make a few more for um, easter fourth of july things like that and you're still going to get the same style image the same overall look and it's just going to you know pull all your designs together because they all started out from the same thing. So Kittle Flow is just a really, really cool feature they have for us now. I absolutely love it. Um, so if you haven't tried this out yet, give it a shot, give it a try, see what you can do with it. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll help you out as best I can. So I hope you guys have fun playing with this and I'll see you in the next video.